All right, guys, how you doing? It's been a while, DIY Outdoorsman, Chip Wooten here with you. Um, the next project I'm working on, I'm gonna be painting the boat. Um, and I'm gonna do it in natural gear camo. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the kit that I'm using. So I ordered this from uh, Red Leg Camo. The stencil came in a box, tall box like this. I'll open it up and uh, show you guys what's inside. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Got a cool red leg camo sticker. Directions for the Hazel and Major Brown. So I got three stencils total. I got a little one, I think this is for the touch-ups on Major Brown. This is your Hazel. Got a lot bigger gaps in it. There's a whole lot less of it in the camo pattern. And then this is the bulkier pattern. The major brown. So gonna work on doing that here in the next uh, week or so. So uh, stay tuned. Hey everybody, Chip Wooten. I'm your DIY outdoorsman here. Today we're gonna talk about camo painting a boat. So I got this. 1560 Express, and uh, we're gonna put a little paint on her. I've always wanted to have a natural gear painted duck boat, so um, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna show you the supplies you need for that, what you need to get started, and uh, probably put some links in the description too for where to get the materials and what it looks like. So um, stay tuned. And I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, to paint a duck boat and how to do it with rattle can on the cheap. I've kind of got like this light greenish gray color to the boat already. And really the base for this is a cobblestone color. So um, this is close enough really. And so the main thing you need are uh, your spray paint. So you can get this at just about anywhere. I went with the earth brown. You're going to need probably three, two or three cans of that for a boat. And then I went with the uh, Rusty Metal Primer, just the right color for kind of that red color that you see in, um, so you see Rusty Metal. And um, yeah, you also need to have the stencil kit. So I got the, this is the first stencil you put on. And then the second stencil is actually back here in the back of the boat. My boat is a mess because it's taking up much, most of the garage. Basically that's all you kind of need to get started. Um, you know, the front of my boat's black right now because what I did was uh, it was just pretty much raw metal painted. So I put some truck bed liner in the front of it, uh, some spray in bed liner, and uh, be curious to see how, how that took. But uh, I'm gonna get into painting this All boat. Right, so kind of the most important part of this deal is you gotta make sure you got some, some painter's tape to hold it in place. And that way it'll move real quick too. Um, and you're gonna push this up against the boat when you spray it. It's okay if it's not. Yeah, that's perfect. Not to get some new tape, but it doesn't have to be perfectly flush up against it. If there's an inch or so, it'll be just fine. So what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna press this up against here. And then remember from our other video how you wanna spray. You don't wanna be right up on it like this. You wanna be back a few feet or a few inches. So You shake it up first. So then when you lift it up, that's what it's going to look like. 
if you if you spray it too heavy there's going to be overspray you don't want that you're also going to have grips don't want that either so what you're going to do is just work your way down the boat Okay, so now that we've done that part, um, I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute, and then we're gonna go back over it with the, the main stencil, and then we'll go through, and as you saw, I kinda already started touching up some spots where maybe the stencil had gaps, so it doesn't just look uniform across and it looks really random. All right, so we're gonna get started over here. You may not be able to see from here, actually, I just realized. your uh, enthusiasm but this is a daddy job So that's kind of what that looks like, and uh, we'll move on down the boat with it. And probably gonna hit it with some more of the red. I, I like to cover the logo, but that's just a uh, first round. My little boy here is covered in chocolate, so uh, we gotta take him inside and get him washed up, but um, he found some chocolates, it's great. So the boat is almost done. But uh, just got a couple things left on it. And also getting a new motor, so stay tuned for that. But uh, I'm excited to see and show you the final product. So uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to try and post a video right here of a recent project I did. And make sure you go check that out. Also, all the links for any of the products I use in these videos... I've started adding to the descriptions, so if you click on those, it actually it helps me out too because uh, Amazon gives me a small commission for each thing that's sold, and so that'll help uh, be able to make more videos. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell notification also so you get those uh, updates on the each time a video is posted. Thanks.